Lovely people, this is Sis Kitchen. Look at this yummy poulet deje. We've made poulet deje today, guys. Look at how yummy it looks. If this is your first time, please just stay put and let's make this delicious poulet deje together, guys. Look at how yummy it looks. Thank you. Hello, guys. Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is your girl Cecile. What is as yummy and delicious as poulet deje? Come on, guys. Today we are going to be making poulet deje. Poulet deje is one of Cameroonian flavorful delicacy, guys. Yeah, poulet deje. Poulet is, is a French word that means chicken. Okay, so poulet deje. As I've already said, it's a perfect marriage between ripe fried plantains and some chicken you season, steam, and then you fry and mix them up in some tomato sauce with all the veggies. So if this is your first time hearing about poulet deje, we are going to make this together. Okay guys, come let's see what we need for this particular recipe. So today we'll be making use of chicken as you've seen here i'm going to be using the hot chicken in cameroon we call it uh um ole i think yeah i like this because it is tasty compar uh, comparatively to the soft chicken okay guys and here we have some carrot like i have a handful of carrot here i ha i have four carrots and some green beans we're making use of uh, uh onion i have white and then with the red onion okay guys i'll just mix mix them up and i'll be making use of leeks and here we have all the bell peppers the red the yellow and the green bell peppers as you're seeing there and i have three tomatoes as you can see i have three large tomatoes here okay guys here is our plantain and guys you don't want to make use of plantain that is too ripe like it should be a little bit hard not too ripe because if it's too ripe it's going to absorb a lot of oil and then it will not be nice so into our marinade this is what we'll be using for our marinade to marinate our chicken so i'm using parsley as you can see here from our garden i have parsley here and then i have some chopped leeks and then i have uh like uh, five tons of garlic I have five cloves of garlic and then I have a ton of ginger and I'll just make use of I have a habanero here so one I'll use one tiny I'll blend one tiny one and the other one we'll use for for our sauce later on okay guys so you can actually substitute um your your parsley no your parsley for celery is optional you can use celery yeah it saves the same purpose and it's still very good okay guys without taking much of your time so we will just cut the chicken into our into the shape you so desire so let me bring it this way oh yeah let's let's cut our chicken oh my 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 we cut them into fine shapes that we so desire guys all right guys so this is a white pepper we're making use of white pepper our seasoning cubes as you've seen here and then here i have some seasoning brio and into this into this we have our salt and we'll be making use of vegetable oil okay guys so i'll just cut our chicken and we'll marinate it together all right so our chicken is all cut into fine sizes and now we are going to do our marinade and then we marinate the chicken all right guys so into our blender We'll just bring in i'll just chop off the onion like into four then i can put our onion our ginger our garlic our our parsley just chop it roughly like that put everything guys and then our leeks and our one tiny pepper guys so 
we've put our ginger, our our parsley, our leeks, and I'm putting my one of uh, my Maggi cube. I'll just blend everything I put inside like that. Then I'll add a teaspoon of salt, like that. Just put your salt and Maggi or seasoning cube to taste, guys. And then I'm going to add a bit of granola oil to blend it up to blend our marinade. I'll just pour like half of it I'll just allow a little bit for my tomato seasoning later on so what you do I already added my salt and my seasoning cube so I'm just going to put in a little bit of seasoning bouillon like that so I'm going to use my my hands that's why I'm putting on gloves to to make sure that the marinade gets into into all the chicken very well you want to marinate it so well that it is tasty and nice okay guys so from here i'll just transfer it into a pot and then i'll allow it cook while we prep our plantain and other vegetables okay guys so i'm just going to add some white pepper then i'll allow it cook guys like half a teaspoon of white pepper like that the flavor is so nice okay guys so I'll just put our stuff on and then we allow it cook until it's tender while we prep our our, our, our plantain and veggies everyone so while our chicken cooks we are going to prep our vegetables our our tomatoes everything with plantains together okay let's do this part so I start with the onion. I think I don't need gloves anymore. Our onion. Because the, the shape is so desired, guys. Yeah. So we are going to cut our leeks. I'm using half of each of the bare peppers. Yeah, so as you can see here, I'll just chop up half of each. Okay. Guys, it is this back then in Cameroon they said pulet deji is meant for CEO. <laughs> Guys, can you imagine? So we are going to be CEO in our kitchen today. All of us we are CEO. Hey guys. This, this this particular dish was meant for those high class, those rich influence in, in those days, but I don't think it still stands because everybody, I believe, everybody is a CEO, wherever the person is. Them to find shapes like that, guys. Oops. Yeah. It's the aroma that is already coming out. From this, the chicken smelling already so nice guys yeah put a lot of tomatoes here so that the extra water comes out on this all right for the plantains we start prepping our plantains guys you don't want to buy plant ripe plantain that is too ripe it, it will not be nice because it will definitely absorb oil and then it will be mushy so yeah guys so i'll just give it a fine cut you don't want it too thin like like that you can give it like that like that guys okay guys so all our veggies and our plantain is set to go so we'll start with frying our plantain so right here i'll just bring in part of the uh, i'll chop half onion and then i'll drop into our oil like that to add more flavor to add more flavor to it so so i'll just i'm just going to go a little bit like that 
think I'm going to fry it like twice or thrice. Alright my lovely people, so while our plantain fry, we'll just start prepping the tomato sauce so that we'll mix later. In comes a little bit of oil. A little bit of mix and the rest will come later on. Mm. Nice of the aroma. Everything smells so, so nice, guys. I've sauteed the onion like for three minutes. So I'll just add in our tomato. Like that. We allow it. We allow it to cook until, until the sour taste go, goes away, or the acidity of the tomato goes away. So it's going to take like seven minutes, seven to ten minutes. Okay, our plantain is ready, the first batch. So I'll just set it aside, put in the seed like that. Alright guys, so our chicken is ready. I'm just going to set it aside like that. And then we'll fry it. You can actually just put it in an oven if you don't want too much of oil frying here, frying there. You can just put it in the oven for it to get a little bit brownish before you add it to your tomatoes. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So we've been cooking like for eight minutes now. You see, it's almost dried up. So we can it's ready. So I'll just bring in my my remaining marinade like that. I'll give you a fine stir. That guys. I bring in my carrot and green beans and our abenero pepper. I put everything like that guys. I give it a fine stir. Like that. My God, the aroma that is coming out guys. We stop from our steamed chicken, just like that. Mm. It so, 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 so good. And then guys, before we add our, our bell peppers, I just want us to fry our chicken a little bit. So I'll just bring in like that my lovely people so I'll just I'm just going to bring in our chicken so that it absorbs some juice from the, the tomato sauce like that guys my god it smells so so nice guys you bring in Lay like for a few minutes, then you bring in your your bear peppers. You give it a stir like that, guys. Oh my god! My remaining leeks. I just bring it, everything in like that, guys. Stay. and then bring in the, your plantain you taste your seasoning if there's anything because they brought from the, the steamed chicken it's already seasoned so it's sweet so if there's anything you want to add to your, your maggi your, your seasoning cube just go ahead okay guys so I'm bringing in our plantain oh my god look at this oh, give it a fine stir Oh, you give it a fine stir like that. Look at how yummy it looks. Yeah. You don't want your vegetables to cook like. You just allow it like for two minutes. Guys. And 
This one will be ready. Just two more minutes. Oh my god. Look at this. How yummy it looks with all the veggies. Alright guys, we are almost done with our DJ. Please, to all my returning subscribers, thank you for the big love. Please, if you if not yet subscribed to my channel, please just click the subscription button. Click your notification bell so that when I bring forth beautiful videos, you'll be able to see, guys. Look at how yummy it looks. Look at how yummy this looks with all the veggies, guys. It looks so, so yummy. Look at it. It looks so, so yummy, guys. I'm just going to taste. Okay, so, just going to zip zip look at how yummy i just love the fact that it has a lot of veggies a lot of veggies guys look at how yummy this looks oh my gee okay guys thank you all for, thank you all for coming and spending time with me to prepare poulet deje this is how we go about it in cameroon and if you've seen the various steps i've made mine Guys, this dish is so, so delicious. I'm going to just taste it right away. I know it's still very hot. But guys, I can't wait. It smells so, so good. The aroma that is all over the place, guys. Yeah. And guys, please show me some love by subscribing, share, like my videos. Thank you. And let me know if you've tried this before in the comment section below, guys. Let me just taste it. Oh, my, my, my. It looks so, so great. Taking. It's still very hot. Mm. It is so so flavorful. The aroma from the spices, the sweetness from the ripe plantain, and then the chicken, it just makes everything so so beautiful. Please try this recipe. You will not regret it. You will definitely enjoy it. Until we see you again, take care of yourself, stay positive, and bye.